Hello everyone I am Sashikant and welcome to Ellen Campus Today we are going to learn about the concept of big projects and how we can effectively monitor and control the same within ERP Ellen 10.5 To understand this concept better you need to know the basics of project management how big projects are executed in the real world and within ERP Ellen product to a certain extent The agenda for this presentation goes like this. We will start with an introduction to understand more about the big projects. I would recommend people with limited knowledge about the big projects to pay attention to this particular section. We will have a look at the challenges in handling the big projects, business requirements, functional solution overview to see how monitoring and controlling takes place in the real world with a high level product demo. At the end we will summarize what we have learned and close the session. So what is a project? A project is a planned set of interrelated tasks to be executed over a fixed period and within certain cost and other limitations. We execute the project to create a unique product or a service. Any project goes through a series of phases. This can vary depending on the industry, business line and product that you are developing. This is called project life cycle. Also many people do not have adequate knowledge about the basic difference between the PCS project module available in manufacturing and the big projects module. I would like to attempt to share my perspective on the differences. Basically PCS projects are meant for effective way of planning execution and tracking of make to order items which you typically use in discrete manufacturing industries the duration of the project could be in weeks or sometimes in months however big projects or tp projects are meant for long lead projects with numerous deliverables and activities an example would be the construction of a 100 story building which can take an year or more to complete and sometimes extend over different accounting periods so fundamentally these two concepts are different tp module offers a wide range of features and tools to effectively monitor and control your long lead projects let's have a look at the key challenges that are being faced by many project managers or by the senior management in handling the big projects The success of the project depends on how good we are planning our project, how well we are identifying and mitigating the risks. Unlike small projects such as manufacturing a customer specific product, big projects will have numerous deliverables and hundreds of work packages and activities. The challenge lies in identifying the work packages, activities, budgeting, scheduling and ultimately creating the project baseline. We all know that projects are carried out under certain constraints. Traditionally, they are cost, time and scope. Now the challenge here is as a vendor, how can you ensure that your project is delivered on time within the specified cost and most importantly as per the agreed scope? For small projects, the efforts required to keep an eye on these three constraints can be less compared to the bigger projects which are more complex risky and can derail with slight oversight this is the main area that we are going to focus upon during this presentation the third challenge is no matter how good we plan our projects we always get surprises during the execution of the project assume that the customer is adding more scope to our project and this particular piece of work is important for our customer and we can't say no to him another example could be an activity is going to take 3 more days time to complete compared to the original estimate how can we adjust our budget schedule and forecast our future costs so these are the typical business challenges in handling the big projects let's look at the business requirements quickly enterprises are looking for powerful tools and sophisticated functionalities for effective project planning 
we can't simply rely on spreadsheet for planning purposes, right? So enterprises are often depends on third-party softwares like Microsoft Project for effective project planning. One of the key business requirement is to assess the project performance to ensure that the project is going as per the plan. As a project manager, you will continuously monitor the project's performance and make preventive and corrective actions. The third business requirement is Big projects oftentimes extend over different accounting periods and you have to adhere to the legal requirements. For example, as per the Indian accounting standards, you need to recognize the revenue of your project although you have not invoiced your customer in the middle of the project. As discussed during the previous slides, we are going to focus more on the project performance measurement to ensure that our project is going as per the plan. Let's take an example. During the project execution phase, your senior management or the project sponsor is asking you a question, how are we performing and how we are progressing? If you are answering just by guess, hope or general percentages to assess how your project is doing, you must realize the fact that these methods do not tell you much nor are they very accurate. So how can you answer this question? One of the prominent way of assessing the project performance is using the earned value management. If you google about earned value management, you would find n number of blogs and videos. However, I will quickly summarize what it is and how it can benefit us in measuring the project performance. Well, before knowing about the earned value management, you need to know the terminology used in this technique. Planned value As of today, what is the estimated value of the work planned to be done? Earned value as of today, what is the estimated value of the work actually accomplished? Actual costs As of today, what is the actual cost incurred for the work accomplished? Budgeted completion How much did we budget for the total project effort? Estimated completion What do we currently expect the project to cost? A forecast Estimate to completion. From this point on, how much more do we expect it to cost to finish the project? Cost variance. The difference between the earned value and the actual costs. Negative is over budget and positive is under budget. Schedule variance. The difference between the earned value and the planned value. Negative is behind schedule and positive is ahead of the schedule. Cost Performance Index This index will tell us the value or worth of work that we are getting in return for every dollar or rupee that we spent. Greater than 1 is good, less than 1 is bad. Schedule Performance Index This index will let us know the rate at which we are progressing. Greater than 1 is good, less than 1 is bad. Earned value management technique is a standard feature within ERPLN, so you need not to depend on third party tools to calculate the project performance. For the demo, let's take the following scenarios. First scenario is to measure the project performance during the execution phase. So we will see all the fundamentals that we have learned in the previous slide in action. The second scenario is to recognize the revenue for the project and post it to the financials. So let's see how big projects module handles these scenarios. Let me take you through the project that I have created for our demo. The project is all about providing our services in erecting and commissioning the boiler for the Southern India Power Generation Company. The project sponsor had requested to prepare the detailed budget, so I have chosen the budgeting by activity. We are also going to control the project by activity. 
since we would like to monitor and control our project during the execution phase, we are going to register the progress, which will help us in measuring the project performance at a later stage. I am also assuming that this project will extend over different accounting periods and I might have to recognize the revenue, so I have chosen milestone based revenue recognition model. The miscellaneous tab provides information about the project and its background. The activities required to complete the project are listed here. A000 is the WBS element which is the main deliverable of the project. Activities from A101 to A103 are related to the boiler erection work. When activity A103 is completed, we will reach the first milestone. Similarly, activities from A201 to A203 are the boiler commissioning related activities. When activity A203 is completed, we will reach our second milestone and also the main deliverable. The project is already linked with a contract and both the project and contract are active. This indicates that we can start the execution process. Before getting into the execution mode, let's also have a look at the budget that we have created for this project. For simplicity's sake, I have taken only labor efforts into consideration and we can see the hours estimation and associated budgeted costs. The time phase budget gives us the ability to have a look at the budgeted costs by each accounting period. So with this background, I will quickly jump into the execution mode. Since we have considered only labor hours, I will register the hours that the employees have spent on the project using the hours accounting session. Assuming that the activity A101 had taken 100 hours to complete, which is what we have estimated. However, activity A102 had taken 50 more hours to complete the work, so I am registering 350 hours for this activity. This eventually means that we have incurred more cost. We will see its impact in the performance measurement at a later stage. I am also registering the hours for A201 and 202 activities with each 50 hours more than estimated. Now process the hours so the costs are updated. Now the next part is to report the progress. By consuming so much of labor effort, what we have accomplished? Physical progress is the place where we register the progress for each activity or cost object. I am registering the progress for the activity A101 as 100% completed and activity A102 as 80% completed. I am doing this intentionally so we could see the impact during the project performance measurement. After registering the progress, it's time to get into the interesting topic project performance measurement using earned value management. I am using the generate performance measurement session to calculate all the earned value management formulas which eventually tell us how good we are doing with our project by considering time, cost and scope constraints. Now let's open the performance measurement session and check the results. I would request you to pay attention to the details that I am going to highlight now. Let's start with A101 activity. The planned value is nothing but the value that we are supposed to be reached in this accounting period. The earned value is calculated based on the progress. The actual costs are updated based on the hours that we have registered and processed some time back. The ratio of earned value and actual costs would give us the cost performance index. 
Similarly, the schedule performance index gives us the rate at which we are progressing against what we have actually estimated. The ratio of earned value and planned value gives us the schedule performance index. If we move to the at completion tab, we can see the estimated completion and variance at completion data. In this case, we are assuming that the variances that we have experienced are not typical and we should be able to finish the project within the given time and cost. So that's the reason the EAC is equal to the initial budget and variance at completion is zero. But this is not possible or practical in your real world projects, right? Assume that we need to do some rework on the activity A101 which we have just completed and it would take another 10,000 bucks to do the same. In this case, the cost forecast must be maintained within ERPLN. So I am going to the session cost forecast by activity and adding 10,000 bucks here. Save and exit the session. Open the generate performance measurement session and calculate the performance once again with a different generate code. Let's open the performance measurement and see the estimated completion and variance at completion. So basically this is the way you can keep an eye on your project's performance and make corrective actions required in case of any schedule and cost variances. Now let's move to our second scenario of recognizing the revenue. Assume that our project is extending over different accounting periods so we need to recognize the revenue though we have not invoiced our customer so far. Since we have chosen the milestone method to recognize the revenue, we need to ensure that we have reached the milestone else we can't recognize any revenue. So let's go back to the physical progress session and register the progress for both A102 and A103 as 100% completed. Come back to our project and select the milestone reach checkbox in the milestones session which denotes that we have achieved the first milestone of our project and the amount associated with this milestone would be considered for revenue recognition. Now open the generate interim results session and provide the project details to calculate the interim results. Open the interim results session which will give us the revenue recognized based on the milestone that we have reached. You can approve and post it to finance for further processing. This way you can recognize the interim revenue for your big project and process it within finance module. As we have seen both the scenarios that we have discussed during the presentation, this takes us to the end of our product demo. So let's go back to our presentation and summarize what we have seen and learned. TP projects module within ERPLN is a powerful solution to handle the big or long lead projects. It has sophisticated features such as earned value management which can be used to measure the project performance and progress. It also offers various revenue recognition methods as per the accounting standards. We have just touched the tip of an iceberg. TP is a vast module with beautiful functionalities to streamline your processes of big projects execution. If you want to know more about the capabilities of TP module or map your business specific requirements using TP module, reach me out on my LinkedIn. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel and never miss an update from LN Campus.